Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Chatham Island Crested Penguin, extinct, recently described penguins that have been wiped out by human predation. I hope you enjoy. Chatham Island Crested Penguins were among the largest of the crested penguins, with the largest specimens being comparable in size to the royal penguin. Their bones were known from and collected from coastal sand dunes, and they were likely widespread throughout the archipelago due to their remains being found on the surrounding pits and Mangaree Islands. Their bones were first recognised as distinct by Phil Milliner and Alan Tennyson in 1994, with them undertaking morphological comparisons with the bones of other penguin species to further demonstrate this. Later, in 2019, an international team of researchers extracted and sequenced mitochondrial DNA from their subfossil bones, confirming they were indeed unique, and that they diverged from the erect crested penguin, their closest relative, between 2.5 to 1.1 million years ago, soon after the emergence of the Chassams, which emerged around 4 million years ago. The species is also known as the Warham's penguin, in honour of John Warham, who carried out pioneering studies on crested penguins. Their mandible was also relatively shallow in depth compared to other crested penguins. These birds unfortunately became extinct by around the 1500s when Polynesian settlers arrived on the islands, with the bones also being found in numerous middens. Undisturbed for millions of years, the Chatham Islands to this day, while still reducing their biodiversity due to human impacts, are still incredible habitats, and the discovery and description of this penguin species adds greatly to our understanding of both our impacts on New Zealand's native animals, and the true diversity of what we have and once has. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the wedge-tailed shearwater, one of the largest of their group and also being occasionally seen around New Zealand. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.